Hello, today's video is on stock number 34755TM, the uh, dual zone digital temperature controller. Uh, I thought I'd make a quick video on this, just showing you how some of the programming works. Uh, it can be kind of difficult to read them, read the instructions, and, and follow along. So, here we go. Um, operates off of 12 volts DC, the, the two, uh, the red and the black wire running up the center. Uh, these devices typically like a fairly well regulated 12 volt DC, so be be careful of your power source. You have two independent uh, probes to monitor the temperature on each side, as you can see, uh, about one meter long length of wire. Each one has their own single pole, single throw uh, outputs. I've uh, took them the back off so you can give you a quick look. You see, each one has their own independent relay. They are isolated. Um, the relays are rated at 20 amps, but it is 16 gauge wire, so you need to be a little careful. I don't think you can quite handle that much current uh, on a regular basis. So, let's start with the programming. As you can see, you know, uh, display on your left and your right, uh, and a set button in the middle. First time you press the button, uh, this side lights, says it comes factory set at 25 degrees Celsius. It is Celsius only. Leave it alone for a few seconds and it, it goes back into operation mode. So if you press once, the left side lights up, press it again, the right side will light up. There again, just leave it alone for a moment and it goes back to a display. Ah. Now to get into programming. Uh, programming is the same for both sides. It depends on what side is flashing is which side you're going to program. So let's start with press the set, then press and hold set again. Now you get an HC. Press the set again. This is comes factory set in C for cooling mode or heating mode. Now uh, that uh, well, let's let's stay in the cooling mode. I think that most people will use. Uh, press set again, and you get this little number D. That's the actual hysteresis setting. Comes factory set at twenty uh, at five five degrees Celsius hysteresis. Uh, leave it alone. Now let me show you what that means. That means that in the cooling mode, it's set at 25 degrees Celsius, but as it heats up above 25, the hysteresis will not turn on until it reaches 30, because there's you know, 25 plus 5 equals 30 degrees Celsius. Almost there. Okay, and as you see, the little green light turns on, and you heard the relay. Hopefully, you heard the relay click. Uh, the relay will stay on now until it gets to that set point of 25 degrees Celsius. Uh, that's the cooling mode. Heating mode exact is the exact opposite. Uh, it, it's set at 25, and if it went to uh, minus 5 degrees down to 20 degrees Celsius, the relay would turn on at that point and would not turn off until it reached the uh, 25 degrees Celsius set point. Speed this along a little bit. I have a little bit of cool water. Okay, that's how those those two, how you set those two. You can change them. 25 just when you're in that mode to whatever temperature you want. Press and hold the set button. As I showed you, set again. That uh, you, that's how you change it from heating to cooling. And next next mode, as we showed you, was the hysteresis. Hit the set button, and you can change it to whatever setting you like. That just seemed to work well for me in this this room and this temperature. Next setting, oops, up oh, is LS. Now LS, if I hit the set button, that is a low temperature alarm. It comes factory set at minus 50 degrees Celsius. Still in minus. Now if we run it up to, eh, say, 23 degrees, there again, you leave that alone for a few seconds. When it stops flashing, it's back in the operation mode. Now to show you what the low temperature alarm does, let's get it down to that set point. It will start flashing, uh, start beeping, and, and you see it just said L. Uh, you should be able to hit the set button and stop the alarm, but it will always just show the, the L until the temperature rises above that low level alarm point. There you go, then it starts displaying ambient temperature. Okay, let's get into the next setting. Just 
Reese's, low level alarm. Now you got the, the high level alarm, comes factory set at 110 degrees Celsius. Or just leave it alone for a few seconds and I'll start displaying again okay now it's set it you know, set it at 28 was it heat this up nope what did I set it at 29 and there as a, with a low level this time it just displays H for a high high temperature alarm it's going to keep beeping until it drops below the set point or you hit the set button and at the same time it dropped. That is the uh, the high temperature setting, alarm setting. Let's see what else we got left. Low level, high level. CA. CA stands for calibration. It comes from the factory set at zero. For whatever reason, whether you use a different thermostat or you use a longer one which has a different uh, you know different resistance, you can calibrate Plus and minus 10 degrees for, for correction. But it comes factory set at zero. That is CA. Next, P7 is an interesting. It's if when you remove power or lose power, it comes factory. Oops, let me get it back. It comes factory set at a one minute delay. That's when you lose power. Um, it will not turn your equipment on so some some cooling equipment you know the compressors need to catch up so this is a delay on turn on let me show you how that works so you see it comes factory set at one minute you can take out the delay or you can run the delay up to 10 minutes but I'll leave it at three minutes here just let it and I'll show you what happens allow it to go back in the operation mode I'm going to remove power like you have a power loss I'm turning it back on now. Uh, it remembers all your settings with power loss. Uh, I'm going to warm this up. Should uh, should turn try to turn the relay on at uh, 30 degrees Celsius. Since we just lost our power, it will not turn a relay on, but it will give you this flashing warning. Now we had to delay for three minutes, so it will not activate the relay for three minutes to allow your, uh, your equipment to re recover from the power loss. Of course, it's going to keep flashing until it gets back down to 25, which is our, our set point. Use my nice little cool water. <laughs> okay, there you go. And three minutes, it will go back to normal operation. Uh, same exact thing works for this side, works for this side. So press it once, it's flashing. Now when it's flashing on this side, you press and hold. And you have all the same programming. There's hysteresis. There's a low temperature alarm, high temperature alarm, calibration. Uh, the same uh, power on delay. And back over to heating or cooling. And this factory set it cooling also. When you leave it alone, it goes back to normal operation. Well, hopefully this explained uh, the programming, programming of it. Uh, if you have any questions, let us know. Thank you for watching our video.